All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. That's right. I have to mix up my schedule because post-August 8th, there's just going to be a lot less hardware and products on the market. I talked about this in my last vlog. I talked about it on the podcast as well. I'm going down to two videos a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the vlog on Thursday. The vlog is an institution. It's going to stay um, forever. But for right now, I do have to cut down on my product reviews, and it is what it is. There's no way around it. If you want to continue to see product reviews, you do have to fight for your vaping rights. Do everything you can. Get involved. Join CASA. Follow the calls to action. Call your congressmen and senators and representatives and ask them to support H.R. 2058 as well as the Cole Bishop Amendment because otherwise, everything I'm about to talk about, nope, it won't matter anyway. What we are going to be talking about today is this guy from H Cigar. This is the VT75. It's their single 26650 DNA 75 device. It's rather nice. It just it looks cool and feels cool, and I've actually really enjoyed using it. In order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. That's right. Quick, short, upy, closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. What we have here is the H Cigar VT75. It's their single 26650 DNA 75 device. Overall, really nice fit and finish. The ergonomic shape, boom. Look at that. Just fits in the hand so well. I'm a person that likes to hold their mod and press the button with my finger, and this just is so conducive to that. So going from top to bottom, we have a spring-loaded 510 pin here, and you can kind of see right here some of the paint has kind of been coming off. There's a big scratch right there. That's just from putting on and taking off atomizers with sort of different depths and different diameters. If I throw a 24 millimeter atomizer on here, which looks and fits great, sometimes eh, the body of the atomizer might scratch around the top of this. Overall, this paint seems quite durable. I've been using this pretty heavily, and other than this top part, I haven't found anywhere else where the paint's coming off, but it's just something to be aware of. It's branded here H Cigar, and it's branded here VT75, and it's kind of got this little swoopy thing that H Cigar likes to put on their devices it kind of breaks up just the normal monotony like if this was just a normal tube it kind of looks cool and swoopy and futuristic and I don't know it feels comfortable in the hand I guess looking at the display here's your DNA 75 nice bright display as we've come to expect from Evolve very very clicky fire button very very clicky up and down adjustment buttons as well these are just really nice firm clicky buttons same with the fire button now the DNA 75 does have this LED thing option here which will change colors and you can customize it depending on you know what you want it to do at certain times I haven't quite got a hold of it so I mean I can't quite get a grasp on how to do it it's a little bit weird in the eScribe software but you can change that so when you press the fire button maybe it's green or when you press the fire button maybe it's blue as it stands it's purple right now by default when I press and there's no atomizer it goes through this little like rainbow light show but you can also change that as well USB on the bottom is for interfacing with your eScribe software only. Don't charge through this. I just wouldn't charge through that. You have to kind of take the battery out like this, which eh, can sometimes be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but due to different sized 26650s, they've added a little bit of adjustment in here in the bottom. I'll show you this. So this is a battery mooch approved EFAST 4200 milliamp hour 26650 battery. This fits in here just great, but if you have other 26650s that might be bigger or smaller, the ones I've tried, well, let me just look. The EFESs work fine, MXJOs work fine, and then these really old Sony VTC5s, yeah, they work fine. Every 26650 that I have on hand that I've tried in here, it fits just fine. And this also does come with one of those adapters, so you can use a 18650 in there. You pop the adapter in and you pop an 18650 in there and boom, you're good to go. Overall, this isn't really so big of a device that you need to use a 26650. Generally, 26650 devices are so big that you might as well use a 26650 battery, but this one, it's nice and small. You could easily get away with a single 18650 and it does come with one of these little adapter guys here so you can do that. So the extra adjustment they've added on the bottom 
bottom is this screw in the middle here, which is actually kind of great. What I like to do if I'm putting in a battery that might be differently diametered or length, I just kind of back that screw off a little bit, and then I'll screw this on, which, you know, it takes a little bit of finding the threads but I'll usually screw this down until I see that it's flat flush with the bottom so that when I stand it on end, it's gonna stand up straight and not be wobbly. But yeah, you can hear the battery rattling around in there. So what you can do is take a flathead screwdriver, put it in the little notch and just tighten this down until it touches the battery. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, just like that, screwed in, no more battery rattle. Still fires like great. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's really all there is to see up here, up close and personal. What we're going to do is get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this guy. So, yeah, this little VT75, I have really, really enjoyed using it. It fits in my hand really nice. The 26650 fits in here well. It gives it a nice curvature and a nice diameter, and you can just kind of put it in your palm and you hit the button with your finger. It's one of my most favorite things to do. It's it's easily one of the most ergonomic devices that I've ever held. In fact, even the even the width of it perfectly matches like the width of my hand. So there's not really anything coming out the bottom. It just hits me in the meaty part of my hand right there. I just, I really like holding it. I really like using it. I have the recoil RDA on here. This is a point 3 ohm dual coil build on here, round wire dual coil build on here. I have this DNA 75 set to the full 75 watts. It is giving me plenty, plenty of power. I've heard a lot of people say that they've run into problems with the DNA 75, that it's underpowered or it's not giving them the wattage or voltage that it's supposed to be. I personally have not had any problems with that. I build right around the same for most everything between a, like a, a 0.16 and a 0.3. That's really my range. And all of those resistances, they work great on the DNA 75. Maybe if I could turn this up to like 80 watts, I'd be a little bit happier with the power. But as it stands, 75 watts on a point 3 ohm coil is is just fantastic one other weird quirk with this particular device is sometimes not often but sometimes the ring here on the bottom where you put your battery in it will get warm on me i'll just be vaping and vaping and i'll feel it and i'm like that's warm and it it's not hot it doesn't burn you it just gets warm I don't know what's causing that. And like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. It happens, it seems to happen only with very specific resistances and very specific wattages, if that makes any sense. But it just, yeah, sometimes I'll press the button and I'll feel the base of this. Get warm. Didn't do it that time, but... It just, it, it's random, it happens randomly. I'm trying to talk with vapor in my mouth. That's so gross. Like I said in the Up Close, I haven't really got the hang of how to change this LED. And that's just a minute detail that doesn't really matter. There's no real need to change it. Sure, I like the way it looks when it's purple. When I fire it, it does this like rainbow thing. One, two, three, four, five. When I lock it, no, it still just stays purple, but that's Batman right there. Haven't really figured out how to change the colors. It's not super important to me. Now, you have to have the newest version of the eScribe software to work with the DNA 75. The older versions of eScribe, uh, they won't work with it. In fact, when I first got my first DNA 75, I had to go to like the Evolve forum and get like a beta link and then download this other version of it before they released like the newest version of the eScribe software. It's super easy. All you have to do is go to the Evolve site and they have the new newest version of the eScribe software on there that include all the DNA 75 stuff so that you can change the LED. That's really that's really the big difference with it. Otherwise, the DNA 75 board is great. It's that great DNA Evolve smooth signal. It doesn't feel like you're vaping a panic attack. I've just really enjoyed it. This with the 26650, it's a super nice vape in my opinion. Now the real question is, are you gonna, this is very high on my DNA 75 list. I've tried 
four or five different DNA 75s so far, and I think this one is my favorite. I bought new 26650 batteries specifically for these new single 26650 mods that are coming out. The eFest 26650 that I have in here is just fantastic. What I'm also going to link down to in the description is all of Mooch's uh, battery tests and this, that, and the other, his most recommended battery, so you can pick a good 26650. I buy mine from imrbatteries.com. They are good prices and super fast shipping. I like it. I don't know if I would buy it right away, but it would definitely be a top contender if I was looking for a DNA 75 device. So yeah, it is what it is, and it is the H Cigar VT75. Don't worry, I'll have links down in the description to most everything that I talk about. Don't forget, especially now more than ever, to fight for your vaping rights. You don't have to do something, but yeah, you do have to do everything. Nope, I totally said that backwards. You don't have to do everything, but you do have to do something. Thanks so much, everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.